Hello, true believers. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another pop review. Today, I'll be taking a look at the pop Black Panther number 386, Eric Killmonger by Funko. Now, I'll take a look at the packaging here. You can see the, you know, the Black Panther box here. And, the, of course, the pop box. And on the back here, you get other pops from this wave, like Black Panther, Black Panther and his Warrior Falls outfit. Okoye, Shuri, N Nikea, Eric Killmonger, Eric Killmonger, Glow in the Dark, Eric Killmonger, Ulysses Claw, and Mabuku, which I did review on the pop. So that's about it for the um the pop. Now let's release Eric Killmonger out of the box. Here we got Killmonger out of the box. Now take a look at the pop here. I gotta say, I mean the head mold here is kind of Kind of the same, but the only main difference is, is the hair. I mean, I like the molded on the hair. I say they did a good job with the mold on the hair. I mean, it looks very much just like the, his hairstyle from the film. I know in the well, the first when he first appeared in the film, he basically has like this hair like sticking out of his, his head. But then for the final battle, you can see the hair on um, his braids are now like lined up or something like that. I mean, not a bad look on the hair sculpt. Now, I'll take a look at the body here. You can see the fur coat that he's wearing. Pretty, pretty nice looking fur coat here. You can see some texturing on it here. And also, you get the little scars that he murders his victims. Yeah. Yeah, pretty interesting on the pop. It has a nice texturing to it. And you can see the Killmonger necklace there. On the back, which is interesting, is you got you can see his weapons are in the, on the back of the um, trench coat here. I'm pretty sure that's hold on by this strap here. You can see the straps on the uh, his arms, and you can see the little bracelet on his arm here. I mean his hand, his wrist. Uh, you can see the little button here on the pants. You get a little scope to fly there. And you can see some shoes and under well behind the trench coat you can clearly see a mold of shoelaces there. And on the bottom there's some nothing nothing but illegal crap. So overall I gotta say this is a perfect well well done looking pop. I say they did a good job sculpting and and creating the character from the film. They did a nice job on the pop. Which is to be honest, I, I think this pop is pretty well done. I'd say this pop is really cool. Not bad looking. I mean, it's a. I mean, I really like how they added like the 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 scars on his chest. I mean, I really wish he was shirtless to see more scars on his front of the body and back from his body, including his arms as well. I mean, you know, in the movie he does he does show off his scars. You know, the scars. I always thought they're like they're like moles or pimples but they're actually scars i mean i i mean i don't know i don't see those I, I mean to be honest i have never seen scars like this for example like this is a scar right here but this i have never seen i mean i have no idea this is different from, from my from my opinion but it's still a, a cool looking pop i actually like this one so much so that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos after you subscribe. And of course, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both of the links will be in the des description down below. So that's about it. This is the Pop Black Panther number 386. Eric Killmonger by Funko. And this is JAR369. Goodbye.